So what got you specifically interested in FDM's grad program? So I came from like a business background, business bachelor background. And I think what got me intrigued into tech or try and broaden my scope in terms of what to apply for, what to get outside once you graduated from uni was like the different thinkings that I would try to apply for. So when I saw FDM and they gave this opportunity as, hey, we encourage with business backgrounds and who want to head into tech, we're enthusiastic. And if you, just because, you know, you've got a different background, we'll teach you those skills. And that's what got me intrigued as, okay, I've got a business background and that is given this opportunity to business backgrounds or science backgrounds or whatever backgrounds, just to give that opportunity to go into tech careers as well. And that's just got me fascinated and intrigued in heading that pathway as well. Perfect. Can you give me a bit of a high level walkthrough to the FDM grad application process? What's that look like? Starting off, obviously there's a few process like the interview process, there's some aptitude tests that you might head into with FDM. And then they try to look into what technical capabilities you have now. In terms of the grad program specifically, there's a few different streams that you might head into depending on what interests you might like. So for example, I myself went into the business analytics and the business intelligence side of things. So that was a bit more technical, but also had that elevated my business background as well. But you can also head into really technical things like the coding side of things or the software designers, software developers stream of work. So there's uh, FDM caters, the graduate program caters to a lot of different avenues that you might want to head into that suit your interests as well. As a grad at FDM, what was the hardest part of the application process to the grad program? Hardest aspect. Honestly, I feel it's up to you in terms of what you might think is difficult. But honestly, what they look for is passion. And if you have that passion going into tech, and obviously it might be a big step for you, but if you have that passion, you have that drive, that's what they're really looking for. So even if you might make a few mistakes in the aptitude test or things are a bit too technical, they're there to help you essentially at the end, right? They're here to walk you through the steps once you're in those graduate programs. And what they're seeking is someone that wants to learn and wants to have that drive to learn about technical skills and go into that pathways. And that's what they look for in those aspects. What was the hardest interview question that you got asked during the application process to the grad program at FDM? Can't recall the questions that they gave me, but on the aptitude test specifically, I'll talk to that because obviously they had a lot of, I guess, coding sequentials that like, what are this, what comes in the next in the sequence, those kind of questions, because in coding, you might need to figure out what's the next line in code that you need to do or what's the problem that you're trying to solve. So those kind of questions, like what's the next number in the sequence or what's the next pattern I was hooked up on, or I'd be like double thinking back in the, Back when I was doing the aptitude test, just questioning if I got those answers right. So I think those kind of questions are hard for me specifically, but it also depends on the person as well. What was the number one thing that got you successfully through the grad application process at FDM? Honestly, I feel like it just clicked with those who interviewed me. Prior to those interviews, well, I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research as much as like coding basics, coding backgrounds. So even just studying up just language on how people talk technically, because from a uni degree that goes into a business background, you talk very different to someone who's from a technical background. And I tried to gauge those conversations as to what technical, what words they speak. So for example, they asked me about loops and for loops. So I'd use the same language as them and just be on the same wavelength as to like those technical aspects. But the second piece there is that I want to have her on is just passion and drive. If you have the passion and drive, you exude it out as you tell conversations with who you're interviewing or who, those questions that they asked you. So it just comes naturally. And from that perspective, I think that's what got me into those grad programs at FDM. After getting hired into FDM's grad program, what did your first few days, weeks, and generally your onboarding process look like? It's interesting because it was still during COVID time. So everything was online. Normally, I think now they, originally they did it in the Sydney office. So they'll get you out there, new graduates into those Sydney office and do things in person. For my grad program specifically while I was doing it during that COVID period, first week was just really uh, getting to know your cohort because uh, there was other graduates there, get to know each other, do some activities together, icebreakers, uh, and then also get to meet your trainers who you're going on for from the first week or the first like stream of work that you would be focusing on. So the first bit was like those business aspects. So meeting your business trainers and just getting comfortable with that environment. As a grad at FDM, what is the coolest project you've worked on so far? 
while I was in FDM, I think the coolest project I worked on was that two, three weeks, about that month's project in terms of the business intelligence. So it was collecting your data and then building upon that data, cleaning it up, data remediation, and then it was a dashboard. So it was this whole entire piece from the start to the end. You go from the back end of the system and then developing a dashboard and like a, a visual presentation, a piece that you own that you built from the start to the end. I think that was one of those cause project because it included from coding that you did beforehand. It would, and then it included, okay, what's my business user? What insights do I get from them? What do they want on that dashboard? So that business side of things. And then obviously your final product, your dashboard that's interacted that you can use, that you can go back on and be like, oh, it's interactive. What type of career opportunities can being a grad at FDM lead to in the future? I think the streams vary, but in terms of like we talked about, I'm contracted onto KBMG. After my contract ends, there's a future opportunity for me at KBMG, but depending on where you want to lead towards, you also still have that opportunity to head back into FDM to be a trainer, to be other roles within FDM to develop that. Also alongside that, if you want neither of those options, they still help you out with future job opportunities. And also don't forget about the skills that you've learned along the way that's bolstered up your CV and future opportunities out there. So there's plenty of opportunities coming out of both your engagement with that client and then with internal with FDM. And then finally, we've got that skills that's bolstered up your CV. So you can go on your path if you want. What types of learning and development opportunities do grads at FDM get access to? There's a whole entire suite, but for me, where I get the most kind of knowledge and experience is talking to your trainers. So your trainers have so much passion in what they're trying to teach and so much information as well outside of what they're already giving you. And it's just up to you. I was talking to an Excel trainer that was just teaching us Excel skills, basics and foundation. But then there was so much more that he obviously knows that he's done throughout his work and his previous past experience. And it's just tapping into that. You've got all these wonderful traders who have so much experience, so much knowledge. I think that that's where you get the most value in terms of knowledge there. As a grad at FDM, do you use any type of remote work from home or hybrid type work model? In the grad program, unfortunately, it was during COVID, but I believe what they're doing now is they get people back in the Sydney office. I've been there a couple of times. Honestly, I forgot where the tower is, but anyway, it's the same tower as KBMG Sydney because I had to fly over there during an engagement. But they've got a wonderful office there that they get graduates up there and they've got the laptops and computers all set up there. And it's just for a couple of months, I believe. In my experience as an FDM consultant, that was during virtual, like doing Zoom calls during COVID time. But in terms of my engagement with my client or in contracted onto KPMG, I go, my anchor days are Thursday, Friday. So I come to the office. It's very flexible, but our team like big engagement calls usually happen on the Thursday that we'll pop into the office for those calls as well. What is your best piece of advice for other students and grads wanting to apply to the grad program at FDM? My single best advice is don't be afraid and just show who you are. Your CV and also that letter that you might send in is your best tool to engage with someone and just tell your story. The, the importance of telling your story, telling who you are in those letters and that CV is so important. With just a bit of research and just a bit of getting contact with the FDM network, have a bit of conversation, just elevates you up there as well. It, it shows to FDM that, hey, this candidate really knows us, or at least they've done the prior work or they've done the CV. And then with your story combined it, I think it's a killer. And so, Ren, what's like the coolest fringe benefit that you get being a grad at FDM? I don't know if I've cashed in on any benefits or what, but what I find unique about FDM is that you can see on their social media and LinkedIn, they support women in STEM programs so much. And I don't know if you can call that a, a like monetary benefit or what, whatnot, but it's just something that I find very unique to a company that really promotes and tries to drive women into te technology careers or just into STEM fields that I find unique about their culture. And it really speaks about what they're trying to send a message to. What's the number one reason you would encourage other students and grads to apply to the grad program at FDM? I came from a business background. I got so zoned in on like big four accounting firms, banking from that business perspective. If you're looking for a new horizon and a place where they're comfortable with helping you along that journey, I think FDM is a great place for you to just head towards and just start out and build those foundations. 
because their graduate program provides you so much technical skills and so much technical capabilities that makes you comfortable when you're getting contracted onto a different company. It just makes you comfortable and confident that you have the skills and knowledge to perform there. So that's my kind of like advice when why you should head into FDM from that perspective. So you went through the grad program at FDM and then later got contracted to KPMG. Can you tell me what is a day in your life there and what's that sort of look like? So that's the interesting part. When I'm contracted onto KPMG, my day in life, I'm working on a client right now. So in the beginning of my day, it's about prep work. So I'm currently leading an engagement. So a lot of things is like project status or the status update of what we've done and just get things set up for the day. So that when we get to those client calls or the client meetings, we're prepared. But another thing I love about working at KBMG, being contracted there, is that they really focus on your personal growth and personal development. So I have a weekly call. So today I had my weekly call with a PDM, so a personal development manager. So just to focus on myself and what pathways, what goals that I want to achieve at KBMG while I'm contracted there. And then it will be my client meetings throughout the day. And then to wrap it up, we usually have a team meeting just to see what everyone else is doing, what their projects are like or what they need help on perhaps, just a stand-up call just to just wrap up the day. Joining into KPMG, you get put onto multiple different types of projects. But the great thing is also you get put into multiple different types of teams. And in my daily today projects, I get into put into different teams. And the greatest part about that and what I love about heading into different company contracted there with all these different teams, they provide such a unique perspective on how they tackle projects. For example, my team comes from a technical background and we're doing technical implementations. They speak and define problems and solve problems in such a different way to someone who's maybe from a customer experience that I'd be tackling. So combined with all these different access, my day-to-day life changes depending on what kind of team I head in towards and it changes every single time I head into a different project and head into a different team. 